There are few things more heartbreaking than tales of miscarriage and infertility, but one part of this very sad subject, which we rarely discuss, is the agony of being a childless man. And it's reported that a quarter of men over 40 don't have children, and for many that is not by choice. Uh, so when it comes to being childless, why do men often have to suffer in silence? And it's true, really. We don't even talk that much about men being broody. It's no. always women, isn't yeah. it? And or miscarriage. Everybody's yeah. like, oh, that poor woman. And oh, I men think it's, get left I think out it's of it. every aspect. You mm. know, when a woman, when people, uh, when couples have to go through, you know, IVF or other forms of, you know, how to get pregnant and stuff like that, it's always about how the woman's feeling. Mm. You know, and if it doesn't work, it's, oh, how, how's, the, how's your wife or how's your girlfriend? Um, and I think it's really, I think we need to be aware that it affects men just as much. I mean, when, uh, when Bernie um, miscarried for the second time, I remember her husband was absolutely devastated. But, I mean, all the focus, I think, was more on, was more on Bernie. Mm -hmm. You know, and it was only when all of a sudden you went, and how are you? And he went absolutely devastated, mm -hmm. like so you know, we're struggling to get out of bed at times mm. over it. And I just don't think we think enough I about I think because we physically give birth men. to a child. Yeah. People don't think about the psychological side, oh, which, yeah. of course, is what... And, and you were saying there about, you know, the Office, uh, office for National Statistics that sort of collects all the statistics about how we live our lives. They don't even bother collecting no. statistics no. for men who They're don't saying that exactly. Children. That's an estimate. They're yeah. saying you know, a quarter of men feel like that. That's just an estimate because nobody really asks them. Mm. Mm. Um, and we've got lots of comments already yeah. coming in from I've got, you. I've got them all up here. Um, Karen, my husband and I didn't talk about our fertility problem until he was sent home from work after he had an emotional breakdown. Like many men, he felt he was unable to share his true feelings because no one would have understood yeah. and Lee here we go again being gay I struggled massively with the thought that we could end up without children but it had a happy ending they started surrogacy and they became dads a couple of years ago can't believe how lucky we are to have a family um, and there's lots of people sort of you know Pat some men say they don't care but hand a man a baby or a small child and watch their faces light up now that's yeah. true that yeah. they do, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. I mean you're in a, a relationship yeah where you haven't got a child together. Yeah. Do, does your other half want to have more children? Or? Eddie, Eddie gets really broody. Yeah. He would have one tomorrow if he could. I go in waves, if I'm really honest. I've got one child, I've got Betsy, and she's seven. But I think, and I know I'm so lucky to have her, but I think for me, it's that thing of thinking I've got to go through all again, the sleepless nights and everything. Whereas for him, he's just like, he would do it at the drop of a hat if mm. he could. Can't you do don't a contract wrong. with him and say, you do all the sleepless <laughs> nights? <laughs> <laughs> no, he would share it. But yeah. don't get me wrong, if I fell pregnant, I'd be over the moon. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just, I don't, can't overthink it because I just don't know. Yeah. And it can some cause, well, three, you know, it can cause you don't a lot know. of problems in a relationship if one person wants a child or another child or, you know, you or know trying what? to conceive you causes know huge strain. Huge strain. And also the amazing thing as well is how many people don't have the discussion before they get married and then have the discussion. I've got friends who mm. were together years, years and years and years, got married and 18 months down the line got divorced because they only discussed children once they were married and she actually didn't want them. And he did. Mm. And I was Why like, was he never brought up? Why did you never discuss that? And he said, I just assumed that she would. Yeah, that's you know? that assumption because yeah. she's a and woman. And she she's said because he'd never talked about it, she assumed, oh, it's okay because yeah. he obviously doesn't want children because he's never asked me. Yeah. yeah. There was and a guy was I was reading about married. today who's in his 50s and he was married and his wife couldn't have children mm. and he really wanted them and he was kind mm. of like, okay, I'm okay with that, I love you. She ended up having an affair. And, and their relationship broke up. So he's now on the dating scene in his 50s, and he said women are really odd because he doesn't have children. They're like, yeah. what do you mean you don't have children? Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. We, so we react quite weirdly towards, mm. towards men in their later life who don't have kids, because yeah. you kind of go, well, that's a bit weird. And he's mm. like, well, I did want them. Yeah. Yeah. Did you and Amy have happened. one more after Jack? We, well, when, because I was 42 when I had Jack, and Amy was obviously had, has got three children, and I suppose Jack was probably not even quite a year old, and we were kind of gooing over him one day, and I went, oh, lovely. And I said, should we have another one? And he, he didn't say no. He just went, really? Five kids? That's all he said. He didn't say no. And then I thought, oh, do you know what? Yeah, and we, you know, we're in our 40s, and you've got to think for the future. That mm. child, you know, it's not just a baby is going to grow up. Yeah. And I was very lucky to have conceived naturally in my 40s, and had, you know, relatively easy.
pregnancy and birth and I thought don't push your luck mm. but had I have maybe met him earlier I think we would have had mm. yeah. more children but you know you can see how that could be a problem if I didn't have that attitude if I'd have pushed him and gone well I want another baby and mm. he didn't you know yeah. you can see how it, it can cause no, a there was problem. always Mick Jagger there's always Mick Jagger <laughs> at 42 and I would absolutely have had another one oh, but you? Gary just went shop shut <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we just want to say that um, if there's any men watching you've been affected by what we're talking about there is help out there um, and we're going to put the details on our on our website so yeah definitely and it is you know talk about it because we're just saying it's, it's a subject that isn't discussed yeah. about men and we can see that by the comments that are coming in from you so thank you very much for those